Hi everyone, welcome back to Teacher Gia's channel and today we're having an interesting topic and that is the human reproductive system. We're going to tackle each and every part of the female reproductive system and also parts and functions of the male reproductive system. So let's begin. So we're going to talk about the following parts of the female reproductive system. We have the fallopian tube. Uh, they are on both sides, left and right. We have the uterus, we have the ovary, cervix, and vagina. So those are the female parts of the reproductive system. So let's start with the ovaries. A female has like two ovaries. So one on the left and on the right side. So ovaries are two small almond-shaped organs that produce eggs or also known as ova and female sex hormones including estrogen and progesterone. So next, we're talking about fallopian tube, which is also known as oviduct, also known as uterine tubes. These are two narrow tubes that transport eggs from the ovaries to the uterus. Fertilization of the egg by sperm usually occurs in the fallopian tube. So I hope that's well understood. Next, we move to the uterus. It is a pear-shaped organ where a fertilized egg implants and develops into a fetus during pregnancy. The uterus is lined with the endometrium, which thickens each month in preparation for a potential pregnancy and sheds during menstruation if pregnancy does not occur. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus that connects to the vagina. It produces mucus that helps sperm travel through the reproductive tract and serves as a barrier to prevent infections from entering the uterus that was very simple vagina a muscular tube that connects the cervix to the outside of the body it serves as a passageway for menstrual blood to leave the body during menstruation and as the birth canal during childbirth so a vagina can also be known as the birth canal lastly we are talking about the vulva it's the external genitalia including the labia clitoris and vaginal opening the vulva protects the internal reproductive organs and is involved in sexual arousal and pleasure so there's a time that you're going to be asked uh, this particular question what are the functions of the female reproductive system so functions of the female reproductive system include number one you should say ovulation which is the release of an egg from the ovary each month during the menstrual cycle the second one is menstruation, is the shedding of the uterine lining if pregnancy does not occur, typically occurring every 28 days. The third one, fertilization, is the union of a sperm and egg in the fallopian tube, leading to the formation of a zygote. The fourth one is pregnancy, which is the development of a fertilized egg into a fetus in the uterus, culminating in childbirth. Lastly, you should say the function of the female reproductive system is hormone regulation, the production of estrogen and progesterone, which regulate the menstrual cycle, ovulation, and pregnancy. So those are the functions of the female reproductive system. Overall, the female reproductive system plays a crucial role in the creation of new life and the regulation of reproductive processes throughout a woman's life. So that is it about the female reproductive system move to the male reproductive system. So here we're going to talk about the testes, epididymis, vas deferens or ductus, prostate gland, urethra, penis, seminal vesicle, and bulba urethral, also known as cowpus glands. So those are the things we're going to talk about today, their, their functions too. So I think we should begin. So the first one is the testes or testicles. That is the plural of testes. So in a male reproductive system, there are two test testes making them to be testes in plural i hope that's well understood so the testes 
these are two oval shaped organs located in the scrotum which produce sperm and male sex hormones primarily testosterone so the function of the testes are to produce sperm or the function of the testes is to produce sperm and male hormones known as testosterone so i hope that's clear next part is epididymis is a call they're called tubes attached to the back of each testicle where sperm mature and are stored before ejaculation so the sperms are stored in the epididymis next is the vas deferens or ductus deferens these are long muscular tubes that carry mature sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct during ejaculation so that's the function of the vas deferens or ductus deferens next we move to the prostrate gland so the prostrate gland is a walnut sized gland located below the bladder that produces prostatic fluid a component of semen that helps protect sperm and enhance their motility so that's the function of the prostrate gland the urethra a tube that runs through the penis and carries both urine and semen out of the body although not at the same time the penis the male external genitalia which consists of the shaft and glands or head and is involved in sexual intercourse and urination so that's basically the function of the penis next is the seminal vesicles <coughs> glandular structures located behind the bladder that produce seminal fluid a nutrient rich fluid that nourishes and transports sperm so that is the function of the seminal vesicle and lastly the bulbourethral or cowper's glands small glands located near the base of the penis that secrete a clear lubricating fluid into the urethra during sexual arousal so that is basically all the functions of the parts of the male reproductive system and i hope it is well understood so next let's move to the functions of the male reproductive system as a whole they include sperm production the testes produce sperm through a process called spermatogenesis where mature sperm cells are formed so that is the first function of the male reproductive system as a whole the next one you can see hormone regulation the testes produce testosterone the primary male sex hormone responsible for the development of secondary sexual characteristics and regulating sperm production the third one which is the last one is ejaculation during sexual arousal sperm and seminal fluid are expelled from the body through the urethra during ejaculation allowing for the delivery of sperm to the female reproductive tract for fertilization so those are the three functions of the male reproductive system as a whole overall the male reproductive system plays a crucial role in the production and delivery of sperm which is necessary for fertilization and reproduction so we have tackled the female reproductive system as a whole and also the male reproductive system as a whole i hope you've learned a lot and that's it for today see you in the next video don't forget to show me love by subscribing to teacher's channel and let's learn more see you bye and take care